Welcome. I'm going to be running through this uh, Lima interface. It's called DIY or Drone It Yourself. It's been around for quite a while, but it's a fantastic interface and it's it's very deep. So we'll go. Through, I'm going to go through lots of different things. But first of all, I'm going to play around with it. So we're going to look at the step sequencer. There are eight of these, eight channels. You've got eight um, steps for each step sequencer. 
and then you have the accumulated uh, sort of rhythm pattern that comes out of this impulse instrument. So you can see each single step goes across to here. You have a look at the MIDI part. So step one, as you would expect, happens on beat one. Step two happens on the uh, second sixteenth note, or second eighth note, depending on how you want to listen to it. So you can see how this works. And this is repeated eight times. So the drones are configured from A to E. So this is A, kind of like John Carpenter. synth type sweep. In B, another tempo or semitone sort of up. You can hear that it's kind of rising, modulating the pitch. So we get all of those uh, effects or all of those sorts of sounds we get all of those sounds in there and you can balance them out in terms of their relative levels and you can see that here it's simply just a question of controlling uh, fader volumes what each of these drones uh, or, or sections of drones have is also a thing they call go to space. To go to space means that the volume is uh, modulated and you can see the volumes going up and down. Now within each of these is essentially a simpler with a sound in it. And each, I'm gonna simplify this so that we just hear A, which is the one that we're looking at at the moment. So we're just going to take a look at Drone A. Drone A um, is basically a sample, it's that kind of John Carpenter type sound. We also have loop functions on the DIY app and we can specify style points. I'll just catch up with the playhead. Here we go. specific section and you can make it quite small it's kind of nice but then what we also have is a is a drag function which is where it says drop a drag a and then we can move the start and end points and then catch the At any time we want to reset this, um, we can turn drag A off and extend it if we want to, and then move it around again. Or we can hit reset, which will reset everything back to the way it was uh, from the beginning. And this kind of arrangement for the drones is uh, is repeated through each of the uh, the six drone zero to drone five. Each of the drones, we also have these uh, coloured balls called the drone mixer balls, and these give you control over the uh, the panorama in terms of from front to back and from side to side. These can also be under the control of uh, a kind of um, having some form of gravity in terms of being able to move it around so that it ping pongs around in the, uh, within the square. So there's quite a lot of motion here. This is number one. The next drone is coming in. Now 
all of the outputs also go to through a filter so you can filter them down So as you can probably hear, it's quite a lot of fun playing around with this uh, with this iPad app. But one of the things that you can do um, with this uh, uh, sort of example, and especially with the template that the guys who made this have uh, put together, which is uh, an Ableton template, is that you can also actually replace the samples, and you re you can replace them with. Uh, with various sort of uh, field recordings or synth sounds or whatever else you want to kind of put in there. And you can explore this as an idea of how to put a, um, an idea together in terms of uh, a track. Uh, it could be something that, that you jam out, that you perform with, or something that you sort of structure in, the, in the some sort of way. But it's really, um, it's worth kind of uh, exploring this uh, application, even if you sort of think, ah, I kind of got the push, this is nothing like the push. You also have effects on uh, each channel, they include quite rudimentary ones in terms of uh, reverb and, and delay. So I'm just adding this to uh, Drone 5. to the gravity, the speed with which they collide and throw against each other. seems to be very slow. Move around a bit more. Turn them off. So each one also has this uh, sort of 
bouncing ball for uh, the filter, which it's not really a filter, but it kind of controls an, an EQ. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this little walkthrough using the DIY drone it yourself. It's for the uh, iPad uh, version of uh, Lima. Um, it's downloadable from the Line website. Details are in the description below, and also uh, probably passing underneath as we speak. Uh, if you do have an iPad version, you can use that. Um, there are Android versions as well, so no excuse. They work on the phone try it. Uh, it'll give you a really interesting kind of uh, spin on the idea of creating a soundscape. Plus, you can also uh, swap out the samples and replace them with something new. Okay, until next time.